And this raises another interesting feature. If you're going to have an industrial revolution like the English one, you basically have to be high up in the Iron Age. The essence, the raw material for the industrial revolution is iron. And Venice really didn't move deeply into the Iron Age. It used bronze, but to make iron you need iron ore, you need charcoal, and that wasn't to be found in Venice. And indeed they had to ship in their iron. The iron was brought round from Germany by sea, by boat, to Venice. So the high development of an Iron Age was impossible here, whereas it was possible in England. The second thing you need for an industrial revolution of the English type is a huge amount of energy. In a sense, Venice is a very good example of the divergence of paths, because even though it's a European Mediterranean power, it's some ways very similar to Oriental civilizations. The basis of Venice was human labor. It was in many ways a slave civilization. Their boats and much of their work was done by slaves. And even the free labor was sweated labor. People had to use their muscles and their backs in order to make the wealth of Venice. They didn't have any sources of power beyond a little bit of wind to sail their ships. There were no rivers falling through Venice, so they couldn't use water power and water mills. They had no coal or carboniferous wealth underneath Venice. So that the whole development of the Industrial Revolution, which could occur in a windy, coal-infested no! nation in the north, couldn't have occurred in Venice.